I know that you can do all things. No plan of yours can be thwarted. Job 42 verse 2 Lift your eyes and look up to heavens. Who created all this? Isaiah 40, 26. God is supreme. All power belongs to Him. It is indisputable. He does not share His glory with anyone. Hello everyone, our topic today is All Powers Belongs to God. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to anybody or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42 verse 8 The name he bears, Yahweh, Jehovah, he who causes everything to be, and El Shaddai, more than enough. Speak of his might and power. It will be sheer foolishness for anyone to convert his position when it is not vacant. Anyone who seeks to play God is counting trouble. He is the Almighty. No power on earth can be compared to his. He brings springs to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. Isaiah 40, 23 his power extends over all the earth, over all his creation. For he made the heavens and the earth along with everything that exists within it. God has no beginning and no end. He existed before the beginning. And there is no God apart from him. A righteous God and a Savior, there is none but me, says the Lord. Isaiah 42 verse 21c he rules and reigns internally. He has, however, delegated his power to kings, queens, presidents, and rulers and established them over his creation to manage it, not to appropriate it. Delegation does not mean abnection. He expects them to be worthy stewards, however, assumes that power do on his behalf. And what does the Lord require of them? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with our God. Micah 6 verse 8 Where arrogance, deceit and hypocrisy set in, it is a recipe for disaster, disorder, dishonor, confusion and shame. We must learn to lead a repented year when we seem to be suffering in our own glory deliberately going against the tide. God is a jealous God, but one who is full of compassion for his people. Drawing parallels with a story in the Bible clearly been points the power of our God. The king of Aram was at war with Israel. Now God revealed the plans of the king to the prophet Elisha, who in turn warned the king of Israel of every intended move. This enraged the king of Aram, who thought that an insider was responsible for leaking intelligence reports to his opponent not until he learned that. Elisha the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your own bedroom. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 12 Gehazi and the Assyrian, the Assyrian army a such team comprising horses and chariots and a strong force was departed to arrest the prophet and bring him before the king of Aram. Just be listening. Then they surrounded the city by night. The next morning, the prophet's disciples saw this and panicked. When shall we, what shall we do? He asked his master. Don't be afraid, the master said. The prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And the prophet prayed, O Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened his eyes and he looked and saw the hills of horses and chariots of fire all around. 2 Kings chapter 6, 15-17 The servant's spiritual eyes 
reassured him of God's fighting force. We all need at one time or the other to witness the power of God at play to recognize his greatness. Coming the storm, it is recorded in the gospel that once Jesus, the Son of God, who threw this earth, was tired and was fast asleep in the boat as they crossed the Sea of Galilee. In the course of the journey, a storm range that tossed the boat to the extent that the disciples thought it would capsize. They had tried all they, had, they knew to do as experienced fishermen, but to no avail. Then they applied to the master for help. They apparently did not hear him say or must have glossed over it. Let us go to the other side. How could the creator of the universe be in a boat that would capsize? If it did, then Jesus was not the son of God. He woke up, rebuked the wind and immediately the storm ceased and he also rebuked his disciples. You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Matthew chapter 8 verse 26. They lacked faith. Why are you afraid of those accusing you wrongly? Remember that all powers belongs to God. Jesus has power over nature. Not only did he steal the storm, but he healed the sick, the lame, gave sight to the blind, and drove demons out of the demon possessed. Could he not save a nation on the brink of collapse, disaster, or arrest any bloodshed when we call upon him? Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who has gathered up the wind in the hollow of his hands? Who has wrapped up the waters in his cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And the name of his son? Tell me if you know. Proverbs 30 verse 4. It is none other than the Lord God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All powers belongs to God Almighty. Whatever that is disturbing you, whatever that is troubling you, know ye today that all powers belong to God Almighty. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember, child of God.